Hey you. Make sure to subscribe. What's up guys? Welcome to the first episode of Ali Talks MMA. And today, we are looking at UFC 297. This main card has a lot of good fighters. We're talking about Arnold Allen, Neil Magny and Sean Strickland. Before we get into the video, if you have any suggestions for future video ideas, anything you want relating MMA or gaming content, I'm, I'm free to do that as well. Leave them in the comments below. So first up in the main card, we have a featherweight bout between Arnold and Movsar. Right now, Movsar has the odds in his favor. He's coming into the bout, a minus 205 favorite. Ar Arnold is looking like he's the underdog right now, which personally, I want Arnold to win this bout, but realistically, it's not looking good for him. Allen is coming off from his decision loss against Max Holloway, whilst Movsar is defending his unbeaten MMA record. It's a tough call in this bout, but I'm leaning towards Arnold because, you know, he gets his TKOs, he gets his KOs. Movsar, he's notorious, we all know him, he goes for decision victories. I think that if Movsar is able to take this fight to decision it will become a split decision and that will go to Mofsar easily but if Allen is able to pick up the pace in the first couple of rounds he could definitely land a shot that drops Mofsar I'm going to be honest though it's not looking good so I I'm gonna think about this realistically I think Mofsar is gonna win this bout and he's gonna push his record to 18 and 0 moving on Next, we have a middleweight clash between Chris Curtis and Mark Andre Barriot. Chris Curtis has the lead in odds. He's a minus 192 favourite. Curtis is coming off a no contest draw, whilst Barriot has picked up a decision win. I believe Curtis is going to be able to pick up a knockout win in the third or fourth round, but Barriot is a tough opponent. He also has power in his hand and he's capable just as much of getting a KO or TKO. I think this fight is going to be very promising, so I think people should be watching this and they should definitely keep their eyes open. Now, we have a welterweight bout. Neil Magny vs Mike Mallet. Mallet is a minus 345 favourite coming into this fight. He's also on a 6 fight winning streak and it doesn't look like he's going to be stopping anytime soon. Neil Magny however, he's on the complete other end of the spectrum. He's lost to Gilbert Burns, Shavkat Rachmanov. And most recently, his loss was against Ian Gary. Whilst Magny has the most decision wins in the UFC, he's coming in as a 275 underdog. In in my opinion, he's going to lose this fight by TKO submission. It makes no other sense. I don't under, I don't see him winning decision. I don't see him getting a submission on Mike Mallet. I don't I don't see anything like that. I think Mike Mallet wins this fight. And he's going to extend his winning streak to 7. Easily. And now for the co-main event for 297. We have Raquel Pennington versus Myra Bueno Silva. Myra Bueno Silva is the favourite walking into this fight. At a minus 175 favourite. But I am leaning towards Raquel winning. Just because her last loss was against Holly Holm in 2020, where Myra has just come off a draw. So to me, these odds don't really make sense. So I'm thinking that Raquel will win. But you know what? Who knows? Because Myra seems to be um, taking shots at everyone. Like she's gone after Juliana um, saying that she's scared because I'm here now. So you know what? Maybe this aggressive version of Myra could get the win in my opinion it can go either way Raquel could win Myra could win me personally I'm leaning towards Raquel winning but the odds are in favor for Myra and now the main event the one that everyone is waiting for the highly anticipated main event this is between Sean Strickland and Drickus Duplessis now surprisingly Sean Strickland is the favorite in this bout in my opinion, I thought Drakus Duplessis was going to be the favourite, but no, it turns out he's the underdog in this bout. Now, from what I've seen recently, I personally believe that Sean Strickland 
will win this bout. Um, some of his posts on Instagram recently have shown that he's he's getting a lot bigger. He's got a lot more muscle on, and I personally think he's trying to do this to sort of match the strengths with DDP to sort of balance out the playing field. Sean has elite level striking, uh, how, but like here's the thing, right? If we look at Duplessis' last fight, he ran through Robert Whitaker like it was nothing, and that's surprising because Robert Whitaker is a crazy good fighter. I mean, he gave a war to Israel Adesanya, and he just phew, disappeared when it came to Duplessis. But in my opinion, I think Sean will win this. He will have his first title defense and um, I don't know maybe I feel like a, a rematch with Adesanya would be interesting but obviously Adesanya has decided to take his um, his leave he's gonna return in a couple of years I don't I, don't, I think it's a interesting move by Adesanya but who knows maybe he could come back fight Strickland go and win the belt or maybe we could have other contenders come and try to take the belt I have a suggestion Hamza Chmaev, why does he not fight for the belt? It makes perfect sense. I personally believe Hamza, if he gets another 2 3 wins, interim belt, then what happens next? Lightweight belt. I think Hamza has the tools to completely run through Strickland. Obviously, it was a bit controversial his last win against Kamar Usman. People argued that. The last round should not have gone to Hamza. Me personally, I scored it to Hamza. I thought he won the first round. Obviously, the first round, he completely won. Control time, easily. Second round, I gave it to Hamza. And then the third round, I barely gave it to Hamza. I thought it was quite interesting uh, how the fight progressed. But obviously, Kamar Usman had a short notice. It was like 11 days. He had to also... It was He was fighting in a weight class that he doesn't even fight in. You know? He fights at welterweight. He fight. He fought that night at middleweight. So, in my opinion, I think Hamza could have lost if Kamara had a better training camp and he was fighting at his weight class. Well, that wraps up my predictions for UFC 297, the main card specifically. Remember, these are just my thoughts. Anything can happen in MMA. How about you guys let me know what your predictions are in the comments below and make sure you don't forget to like and subscribe for more fight breakdowns. Until next time, stay tuned and enjoy the fights. See you guys.